Change or extend your visa status in the U.S. Three important points. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel from New Waming Law Group. Today, we will discuss three important points that you need to pay special attention to when changing or extending visa status in the United States. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, many individuals are losing their jobs or job prospects, and in order to continue to stay legally in the United States, they may have to change to another visa status. For example, an H-1B worker, a J-1 visiting scholar, or an F-1 student whose visa status will expire, as well as their dependents, may need to temporarily change to another visa status, such as B-2, by filling out the I-539 application to the USCIS. Meanwhile, many visitors who are currently inside the United States, holding B-2 or other visas, may find it difficult to leave the U.S. because there are few suitable international flights these days. Consequently, they may need to extend the duration of their current visa status, usually by filing I-539 application to the USCIS as well. Now, for this kind of visa change or extension application, what are the three most important points needed for approval? First, reason. You need to have a valid reason for your application. Second, finance. You need to have enough money to cover expenses during this day. Third, departure. You need to show that you intend to leave the U.S. afterwards. Now let's discuss these three points one by one. First, reason. You cannot simply say, oh, I just want to stay longer, so my visa status should be changed or extended. You need to provide a valid explanation. For example, after years of studying, working, and living in the U.S., I need some additional time to wrap up my stay and arrange my assets and belongings. For another example, I want to accompany my family members and relatives for several more months. The reason needs to be reasonable. If you say, I want to travel across the United States and visit many places during this severe pandemic, that does not sound like a valid reason. Second, finance. You need money for the upcoming continuous stay in the U.S. This money can come from your income if you have past or future employment authorization, or from your personal savings, or it can come from relatives who will support your stay. You can use bank statements and other evidence to show you have financial means to cover the whole duration of stay in the United States. If you use money recently deposited to your account, you may need to explain the source of that money. This is comparable to a mortgage application or loan application. Third, departure. You need to show that you intend to leave the United States in the future after changing to B2 visa status or after the visa status extension. For example, you can show that you have purchased a future international airline ticket or have tried to make such a purchase. You can also list other arrangements for the eventual departure. In addition, you can mention the family tie abroad, the income and welfare benefits abroad, this is especially important if you are a senior, and your foreign assets. What if you change your mind later and will not leave the U.S.? Well, it is case by case, and you can consult us for specific questions. The example discussed above is changing to B2 visa status and B2 extension. If you apply other visa status or extension inside the US, including F1, F2, J2, H4, L2, O3, etc., the requirements are similar, and you also need to file I-539 application to the USCIS. Of course, there are also some differences which we can discuss later, or you can email us at info at nwmlaw.com to get more information. In addition, to apply work visas such as H-1B, L-1, O-1, etc., the employer needs to file I-129 application for the employee, and the employee's dependents, including spouse and children, can file I-539 application to get dependent visa status, such as H-4, L-2, or O-3. In summary, the three important points that determine the outcome of your visa status change or extension application are reason, finance, and departure. Contact us if you have more questions. Thank you and best wishes.